another video so if you haven't already make sure to go and press the subscribe and like buttons down below and if and if you want to go and press the notification bell so you don't miss out on any of my videos so today we have we are going to spread a little bit of manure because we have quite a lot in the field and quite a lot um, in our manure pit so we were if you're wondering where on earth did you get all the manure manure so we got we cleared this place out two times and there's quite a lot of manure, in there. manure from in here when we cleaned it out before the calves came so there's actually in here is a lot because this gets bedded up once a day so if you think if, if you think about that the calves have been in here for about a month and before that there was cows in here for about three months the dry cows so if you think about that that's a lot of manure so that we're going to try and spread as most of it as we can today and if we can hopefully we'll get it done another day but i think we only hired the manure spreader um for today so we're going to be doing it we're going to be trying to do as much as we can today as well. So there's also a bit in the field, um, as I'll show you in this, in, that, in this picture. So he's just a way to get it, um, the manure spreader at the minute. So, um, with the 6499, so, 6499. So he's gonna go and get it now, and then he'll bring it back start. The problem we have with um, our uh, manure pit is it's open at both sides so you can't push the manure up against one wall so it'll just stay so if you push it all if you push that when it gets to a little bit less it'll just come out here. We could push it against this wall but then it'll be all over the lane so we just have to usually leave they leave, leave the last little bit um, until more comes in from the calf shed or um, somewhere else. So we're gonna, that's the problem we have. And then we usually drive it in with the Manitou and then put it into the dump trailer and put it, bring it into the field. And then with the digger, we just put it, instead of bringing the Manitou into the field and getting stuck, um, with the tires where you just bring the digger in with the tracks and lift it up and with the lift the manure up with the bucket and um, put it into the uh, manure spreader so that it can go and spread the field. He's just arrived back, and um, so it's quite small. It's not, it's not that big, and uh, I think it's about six ton. And then I'll spread out the back here, and then that door. You see that door in there? will lift up so that we can um, uh, just spread it. And there's a like a thing that brings it forward, so it'll spread in here. And then these will turn and then it'll fire out and then there's quite big wheels on it um, and on the massy so that hopefully it doesn't get stuck so yeah it's quite a nice piece of machinery but we like I said earlier we wouldn't we would hurt we wouldn't use it all the time so there'd be not very much point of us getting on and also there it's quite expensive to be getting one so um He's just going to go and um, drive down the lane to spread it. So um, I'm just going to go and get in a buggy and then follow him. So um, we, you, I can show you some footage from when he's spreading in the field. So yeah, I'm going to go. Um, so we're just going to go and let the calves back into their straw bed. So after that, we're going to go up and see the field that we think we're going to um, do the spreading in we're gonna just go and see if that's too wet or not so um 
Yeah. We're gonna let them in. Stand here. They love it. Seatbelt off. Oh, turn it off. So if you can see the pile way down there with the massy, and then there's the digger. So you have to bring the digger the whole way across this field. And my dad was just going to check if down there is too muddy to spread. So when you should have seen my dad's face because you see the you see the quad as a um, covering on the. Front, but you see the buggy doesn't so it's freezing when and it's, it was sleeting it's literally sleeting at the minute and when you're driving the buggy my hands are absolutely freezing so when you're driving it you should have seen his face because it was hilarious he looks so cool